went very well, and uh, you know, it was very. Uh, President-elect Trump was very thoughtful on the issue. He asked me to chair a commission on vaccine safety. Vaccine safety. Yeah. And uh, and scientific integrity. It's kind of ironic, while you were up there, uh, some executives from BHP, a mining company, were up there. How concerned are you that he will uh, not pursue fossil fuels as he has said he would and may uh, try to roll back some of Obama's uh, policies on clean energy, which has been something that you've been very interested well, in? I, I was vocal about my support for clean energy and uh, President Trump told me that he's a very strong supporter of solar energy. Um, I, you know, I'm going to be focusing on this issue for the White House. Finally, if I can ask you, how do you think um, your father, Uncle Teddy, um, President Kennedy himself, would think about a, uh, what is to be a President Trump? What do you think their thinking would be? Well, I think that you know, President Trump can be any kind of president that he wants to be. He's probably come into office less encumbered by ideology or by obligations than anybody that has been in political office, who has run the, won the presidency, at least, at least probably since Andrew Jackson. Oh, um, you know, I think we'll see what happens. Did you request the meeting or did he call, did his team call you? He called. And what is it that you're looking for in terms of policy on the va vaccines? To make sure that we have a, a uh, that we have scientific integrity in the vaccine process for efficacy and safety of vaccines. Um, President-elect Trump has some doubts about uh, about the current vaccine policies, and he has questions about it. He says his opinion doesn't matter, but he, but the science does matter, and we ought to be reading the science, and we ought to be debating the science, and uh, and that everybody ought to be uh, able to be assured that the vaccines that we have. He's very pro-vaccine, as am I, but that they're as safe as they possibly can be. And you said he's pro-solar energy, he said he supports solar energy? He told me that he was a big fan of solar energy. You, you, you seem like you don't believe it. No, I, I, I'm very happy to hear it. Did you guys talk about you taking any type of an official role in the transition or in the administration? We chair a commission on vaccine safety and scientific integrity. And what did you say? I said I would. Okay. Thank you, sir. Right, Thank you very much. Thank you. There have been numerous studies, and they have not demonstrated uh, that there's any correlation between vaccinations and autism. Vaccines are very important, certain ones, the ones that would prevent death or crippling. There are others, there are a multitude of vaccines, which probably don't fit in that category, and there should be some discretion. This is people that work for me just the other day, two years old, two and a half years old, a child, a beautiful child, went to have the vaccine and came back and a week later got a tremendous fever, got very, very sick, now is autistic. I only say it's not, I'm in favor of vaccines. Do them over a longer period of time, same amount. Thank but you. Just in, in little sections. Dr. Cr I Dr. Think, and I think you're going to have, I think you're going to see a big impact on autism. We have extremely well-documented proof that there's no autism associated with vaccinations. So I'm all for vaccines, but I'm also for freedom. I'm also a little concerned about how they're bunched up. My kids had all of their vaccines, and even if the science doesn't say bunching them up's a problem, I ought to have the right to spread my vaccines out a little bit at the very least.